I got a question. Yeah. Mm. Bro, like, you use the N word? I mean, let's talk about it, Danny. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about it. Somebody said that in the chat. And last they, they night. said I would I'll be a bitch if I didn't ask you that. Yeah, sure. You sure. know what? Thank you for doing it. Sure. So yeah. I, I will tell you on my YouTube channel, I've done it three times. Three? And, I'll, and I'll give you the context for each one. Please. First time we were filming in Las Vegas an Edward Forty Hands video. And a black man named Baina came up to me and Leo, liked that we were filming, and kept calling us the N word over okay. and over. Okay. I was hammered, and I said, "Did you just call us?" Uh, but right. like, not offended. Like, thank you for doing like, that. Like, this is cred. I was like, "Did you? Can you say it to the camera right now?" And he's like, "I'm here with the white." Yeah, and he said that, and then he gave him the pass. You know, okay, yeah, okay, he gave okay, him the okay, pass, okay, okay, and okay. then um, okay. I didn't know there was a pass. There was a pass for one of them. <laughs> I did at least. But I, I guess that day. No, yeah. we're cool, bro. We're cool. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I got you. Think, you know I what I mean? And also, I know, and like, also, I I think times have changed a little bit. The times when I said it on the channel, it was like two to three years ago. Louis C.K. was saying it all the time. Like a lot of, and a lot of comedians I like are Remember from Louis? like the early two thousands when yeah. shit was a lot different, and you could drop that stuff on stage, and it was yeah. just kind of normal. Joe you ever see Lo Louis like throw it out in front of Chris Rock, like with uh, Seinfeld there, and that, yes. and that? Yeah, you've that seen that. That's pretty wild, huh? Yeah, yeah. and times then times have changed. The, yeah, this times have changed. The other time, and this one is uh, a little more questionable. We mm. were doing a janitor video where mm -hmm. I was a janitor and Leo and I had staged a scene where we were in a restaurant and he looked up and he was like, hey, janitor, watch it with your mop because I was mopping up around his table and he was pretending he was a random citizen in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I said, did you just call me a janitor? I'm a custodian. Calling a custodian a janitor is like calling a black man the yeah, N-word. Right. Yeah. And wow. I said it. And uh, yeah. I'm not I'm not extremely proud of that, Kiki. You shouldn't be, I don't think it was that funny. You and I, I wouldn't have done it now. Apologize to the black community. But Danny. um, please I, do. Please. Yeah, you yeah. have to, bro. You, because look, mm -hmm. if I would have known that, like coming here today, yeah. I would be I would have a whole different outlook. You know what I mean? He's from. Yeah, you have to, bro. You have to. Yeah. OK. I um, I'm, I'm trying to think because I, I think it's weird to say that just like, absolutely, if you ever use the N-word in a hateful context and you're pointing at somebody and saying, like, hey, you're a piece of fucking shit, right. no question about it. Right. But, like, if you're talking about Huckleberry Finn or if you're Quentin Tarantino and you're, you're writing a script that has to do with race, I think just because you say the word, you're not necessarily a bad person. Brother. Could you please apologize? Because mm -hmm. it don't make no... It don't matter where you... It don't add up. You know? Um, if, not, if you don't have, you don't have to. If that's, if you feel, you know, if that's a hump, you well, don't no, want to go over it, and okay. I, yeah. I will say this, Kiki. I will say I, I don't plan on ever publicly saying it again. But, but, I, but, would you agree with me that not all uses are created equal? Like, like if you're talking about it in an academic sense, like what is he trying to do by saying this? In Huckleberry Finn, for instance, Mark Twain was trying to show how brutal and inhumane people used to be back then. Mm -hmm. And if he didn't use the N-word, that message wouldn't have gotten across and racism would appear less barbaric to us. Mm -hmm. But because he uses the N-word, we're like, these people are inhuman. There's a scene in particular in that book where there is a ferry accident and Huckleberry Finn is asked by a, a racist white lady, was anybody hurt on the ferry? And Huckleberry Finn, I think he's trying to cover for, I, it's been a while, he's trying to cover for Jim, or he's trying to like play down what's going on, he's got some sort of scheme. He says, no ma'am, just an N-word. Like basically implying that no real people died. I just remember a black like man. that too. And yeah. she, the woman's like, oh, well, that's good. It's a good thing nobody got hurt, implying that like that didn't count as a person. Mm -hmm. And that lot, that exchange, which I'm butchering right now, the point of that is to be like, look at these horrible people back then. They're awful. This is how serious and real racism is. Don't be like her. And I don't think that would have been as powerful without the actual use of the N-word. So I, I don't think, Kiki, that it's always wrong to say the word in every instance. But the janitor joke, I apologize for. I apologize to the black community for the janitor joke. Pledge your life to Black Lives Matter. I oh, yeah. am donating my entire reaching, net worth to BLM yeah. and we were, all proceeds from the Patreon podcast. Yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our friend watches. We have a lot of people that watch black porn, and that is in many ways spreading <laughs> black voices. Right? Didn't we yeah. come to that? Term? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important. Yeah, it's appreciate important. that, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because 
my son watch your channel. Uh -huh. No yeah, yeah. way. So it was deeper than what you just thought sure. you was doing by sure, apologizing. Sure. You feel what I'm saying? Sure, sure. So nice. basically, like, your following are going to love you for that, fam. Yeah, you're yeah, showing yeah. showing you're, huge, you're human. You're yeah. tangible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all love, baby. We all made mistakes. You yeah, yeah. Of course. No, I'm, I'm curious to talk about it, man. It just, <laughs> I, I do I do feel like a lot has changed since I did it. Yeah. And, and like, I, dude, the last thing I want to know, I want to know I'm doing is, like, hurting people's feelings with my videos. Right. And um, I mean, occasionally we fuck with people in the videos, but it's for the good of everybody laughing at home. But I don't want to know people like your son can't laugh at you home because of something I said. You're P, bro. You want mm. people to keep that? Yeah. Look of you. Yeah. Danny yeah. Is P. Yeah. Straight up. I'm not sure what the whole P thing means. He's my homie now. Danny yeah. That's right. That's cool, man. Feel me? Yeah. Kiki, you should, you should come hang out, man. Whenever you want to come by, do the pod. Yeah. Just put the by. Black I know you're busy. Up. We'll put we'll put it away, man. <laughs> I think we need more black dildos next time you come. I would like yeah. to see the walls Honestly, lined yeah. with black cops. Just, hey, now that I've now that I've pledged my life to BLM, I think we're gonna have to get that done. <laughs> oh yeah, BLM. First thing they're gonna change more black dicks. Hey. Hey, well, that was cool. I appreciate you calling me on that. That was a real moment right there. That was man. beautiful. You're, now. You're the homie now. Yeah. Now it, it was beautiful. Back. Yeah, and man. Balls. I don't. Kiki, are you my homie too? Come on, man. You smoke. Hell yeah, man. And uh, I saw Even him. Swobie. I saw Fuck him get yeah. worried about it last night because he's on live and I pop up in the chat and I'm like, yo, we're going to Danny Mullen's shit together. He's like, all right, cool. And then one uh -oh. of the people watching is like, he says the N word, rah, rah, rah. And I see Kiki sitting in the fucking TGI Fridays just like, hey, word? <laughs> he said the N word? What the fuck? Like, yeah, it had what? me like, damn, I'm. Well, I'm going over there. For hey, it. promise you know, me though. Like, like, you know what promise I mean? me yeah, if yeah. you ever have somebody's got to call out uh, Robert Downey Jr. for doing straight blackface in a movie. You know, nobody's yeah. ever called yeah, him out right. for that. Yeah, Tropic Thunder. He never right? got called. Never, never got nothing. Nothing ever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Kiki. What I was gonna say is I've never ever ever used that word in even close to hateful context. And no, the no. only time, the only like racially charged interaction I've ever had with a black man is when my ex girlfriend told me she banged a black dude with a giant cock, and I had like mad cock insecurity for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and like That's he wrote a book I've about it. There. Yeah, I've been. You've been there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man. So that was the only time. The pros and cons from that is that somebody gave you a pass. So they led you to think that it was okay. It's okay, yeah. right? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it basically had you feeling like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I'm a yeah. But if that man would have never did that, you probably wouldn't even did it. Yeah. All right, guys, we hit 50,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you click that button to subscribe. We appreciate y'all very, very much. Thank you.